is Throwing Thursday, and this week we are making lamp. This is my medium-sized lamp. I make it in two parts, and I will be showing you from the throwing to the putting it together to actually wiring it. So we're going to go through the whole, all the steps, and wiring isn't exactly as hard as you might think. So I'm starting with three and a half pounds, and this is the base of the lamp. Let's get started with that. And I do a more traditional style lamp base. And three and a half pounds is just a nice manageable amount of clay. At least for me it is. So let's get this centered. So the base is hollow, so I'm going clear down to the bat and leaving really no clay to speak of on the bottom like you usually do with most pieces. So it is an open form and let's get our first pull going. So these lamps are on our website, these all three sizes, and the medium size lamp sells for 200. And we have some beautiful copper shades that we sell that we don't make ourselves that are absolutely lovely for people who have um, rustic or mountain homes. And since we're in the mountains of North Carolina, that's appropriate for our area. So that's why we carry those. And those uh, shades are also made here in the U.S. So, all right, let's get some height out of this guy. And so I haven't thrown these medium ones probably, well, sometime before Christmas, probably October, November, so... Um, gotta have to remember how I do it. And it's not like it's something that I've been throwing for years and years and years. We've only been doing lamps for probably a couple, two or three years now. Well, no, actually it's been longer than that, but it's not one of those things that I can just not think about and just easily throw, so. We'll curve in and then for it to come back out and then in again. So I want to start shaping that by calling it in a little bit there and still trying to get a little weight out of that bottom. And you just gently bring your hands all the way up to try to keep a consistent form with an even spiral all the way up. That's what we do. So I'm going to take some of this water out of the bottom here. I want to get it too wet while I'm working on it. And then I'll share with you why I do um, a separate piece, and it's all about the wiring, why I do a separate piece for the top. And it is all about the wiring so it's a little tip that I created that I'm going to share with you. I think I'm going to bring this in a little bit more to make it a little bit more graceful and then slowly bring it out and slowly bring it back in. Okay we're getting all right I think I might use my rib a little bit to get this shape right here the way I want it. See how that changed that just by pressing that rib against that? I'm 
give it a little bit more lift. And a little bit more pooch. And I'm moving slower now because I'm refining. And then back in. Yeah, that's much better. Just have to work with it a little bit. And I'm going to collar this in. Come back up. And so this is where, right up here, where I'm going to stick that second piece I'm going to throw in just a minute. And so I want this to be nice and even. So I'm taking my needle tool and I am cutting it off so it is even. There we go. So let's get these little extra pieces. It was very, very close to even already. So that's just a precaution. Really, a little bit of gunk right there. I'm just going to try to scrape off. There it is. I don't want to give it any reason to not set evenly. All right. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and score this while it's on the wheel a little bit. Because this is where the, the other piece is going to sit on top of it. So there you go. All right, so that is our first half. Tomorrow, I'll stick a hole in it here because I want the um, wire to come through, and that'll be the back, and then it'll come up in through the piece. So I don't do that on the day that I throw it. I let it stiffen up. So there is our first half, and I'm going to set it down in front. So let's do our second half. And so let me grab my tools to measure, and I'm going to measure the outside diameter of the top of that lamp. So we are this wide that we need to get the top of our lamp. And my bat will be wide enough, that's what I was checking. So let's get another bat on here and let's throw the, the top. Okay, so why do I do it separately? I want the top to have a bottom, a base, because I only want to put the thread in the top section of the lamp. And so it has to have something to screw up against on the, up in there. And so that is why I throw the base or the, the top of the top of the lamp separately. So this is three quarters of a pound. And it's gotta be nice and wide. And let me get my measuring tool out because I want this to fit very closely. I don't want it to stick out, and I don't want it, and if it's too small, then it's gonna fall through. So we gotta get it just the right size. And we are a little over at this point, so I'm gonna push it in just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go down in, all the way down. And then I'm coming up a little bit and going across because I want this to have a floor on it, on the bottom where the bat is. So I've got my hole to run my wiring through and then a floor. And let's see where we are on size. We are just right. Okay. Now, this is going to be the neck. So as I'm throwing, I'm just pushing into the center the whole time, into the center, into the center. And I have experimented with how much clay I needed, and so I've thrown enough of these that I know that I want this topper to be three quarters of a pound, and I want the base to be three and a half pounds. Okay, I'm going to measure again because now's the time to get this just right, and I'm loving that. And I've also learned, visually wise, it is good to have a very deep undercut in here. It just looks really good when you do that. So I've got a deep undercut. I'm going to collar this in and give this neck some shape. And then I like to put a detail here, and 
one tug, I'll just use my thumb. And I can put the detail there. And then again, my net goes in and back out. And I also stick a little round brass fitting on this. And so I've got to make sure that that's the appropriate size. And it doesn't have to be exact, but um, it needs to be close. All right, so I'm going to cut that off with a cutting wire. And let's take a look at what I have here now. All right, so here is the base that I just threw. And here is its little topper. And they will tomorrow, if they're leather hard, get put together. And then they will dry really slowly. And you can see that I've got a couple of different shapes here. These two are more traditional and this one's a little bit more modern. So I will get back with you with how this piece looks at the end and how to wire it. All right, so here we are finished with a finished lamp. It has its little hole for um, the wire to come through. As you can see, it's hollow and it clear up in here. It has a flat spot where I'm going, which I told you I use for wiring. So I bought my lamp parts this time from a company called B and P Lamp. Let's see, B and P Lamp Supply Inc. They're out of Tennessee, and I have a wholesale account set up with them. But you can even buy lamp parts Amazon. That's it, Amazon. Okay, so I I buy a kit, and my kit came with a harp and there's different size harps for this size lamp, which is a pretty nice size lamp. I want at least a number eight or eight inch harp. So that's what I'm going to use. My lamp kit did not come with the thing that the harp sits in. So I always have to buy some of these. They're called saddles. My lamp heart, my lamp set did not come with these. I always buy these extra that set on top right here. And no matter what company I buy these sets from, I never get a long enough one of these guys, which is, um, it, it's a nice long one that you can put the screws in that fits down in here and you run your wire through. So when you are a potter, run your own business, you wear a lot of hats and um, this is my electrician hat. So. There you go, whoever thought that that was going to happen. I want to set up my structure in here. So this is the one they provide for me. This is the size that I need. And these are about six inches, so this is an extra part that I buy. And I like to put one of these guys on here. It, it's like you can just get a big washer, but I bought a bunch of these cheap. So I'm going to put this on here and a screw like this and I told you why I throw this flat part in the top part here as a separate piece and it's so I have something for this to go against. So this is like, I don't know, an inch and a half and that is too long. So I'm going to push this screw up a little further. Okay, so that's probably about three quarters of an inch and that's about how much I like it to stick up from uh, the top there. Okay, so the heart goes on top of there. And the next piece that goes on here is the base for the wiring. So that screws on there. Every, one, every set is a little different. This, sometimes I have extra bolts in between this. Um, this set does not have that. So you want this to be nice and tight, the whole thing, because it easily can come loose. And so I work really hard to get these in here really, really tight. And a lot of times I'll actually stick an extra bolt or two on the underside. So they are tight and they stay tight. 
So that's what I'm working on right now. It's getting that tightened up in there. That little screw in here that I've got to screw down and that will keep it also from moving. All right, so now we have our basic setup. This is the hole, which is the back. I turn my harp 90 degrees from the hole in the back. And now we are ready to run the wire through. And you want to tie a knot, so I always see how much length it's gonna take for me to run through there. And you tie a knot that stays on the inside of your lamp. So let's get that knot in there. And what that does is that keeps this wire from pulling anymore. So if somebody's trying to stretch the wire to plug it in, it can only stretch so far and that it hits that knot. Then you need to take the wire and put it through that taller thread that I had just put in there. So that is going through the thread and it's gonna come out the other side. Okay, so there it is. Um, and then I will adjust my knot there to make sure it is the right length because um, I do it a little loose so I have the ability to adjust it. Okay, so here are my two wires that I tied together so it will go easier through that thread. So I'm gonna untwist those now. And here comes the actual wiring. So here is this little part here and it's got two sides on it. And so one of these wires actually has a stripe on it and one does not. So the way I remember which one goes where is stripe goes to silver, SS, stripe to silver. So I'm going to hook this one around the silver and then I'm gonna tighten it down with my drill. And I want it really, really tight. So that's why I use my drill. All right, and then the other wire goes to the brass one. And the trick that I do is I make the wire go around the little screw or terminal in the same direction that the screw screws when I tighten it. And that way it doesn't move on me. check that one okay so there you are you're pretty much wired up now you got this piece here that covers your electrical part and this is critical if they come with a piece of cardboard inside of them that little piece of cardboard is what keeps the electricity that's going up to this piece from transferring to all the rest of the metal it's your, your little insulator so I always make sure that I have that cardboard completely covered over the wiring that I did. And actually one time I made that mistake and I shocked myself by not having that cardboard down there like it was supposed to be because it, the electricity transferred on the rest of the metal. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is you need to just push this down and you can hear it click and it locks in there and it is locked in. All right. So let's see if it works. I'm gonna get a light bulb and I always test them out before I send them out the door. Light bulb in. There we go, all the way in. And I'm gonna plug our light in and let's see if it's gonna turn on or not. Oh, there it goes. And the switch works and we are good. All right, so the last thing we have to talk about is our harp and this easily goes on there. Um, I honestly a lot of times like just leaving the plastic on the heart and let the customer take it off once they get it but it just fits in there and these little guys slide down over it and then you have a finial that screws on the top so your shade goes over it and it screws on the top. So I grabbed one of our copper shades that we buy. This one has trees and a bear on it which is appropriate for the mountains and an 8 inch harp I think is just right for this size lamp 
And how I decide is I want this to ever so slightly cover up the brass um, parts or all the mechanical parts of the piece. So there is the way it will look. And then you screw your harp on, or your, you screw your fitting on tight to your harp and turn on the light and there it is. So this here is one of our large lamps. It is actually going out to a customer in Alaska and these sell for 250. It is in our green glaze combination. If you have any questions about what I talked about as far as making the lamps, putting them together, let me know and we will be happy to answer those for you. Well, until next time, we will see you next Thursday for Throwing Thursday. Thanks for joining us. Bye.